and so I'm back with week 12 and for this week I wanted to use the Simple Stories Hello Today collection with the March cut parts because obviously it's March and um, yeah I'm really trying to use this collection up this year just as I said before we've got quite a few now because Simple Stories and Echo Park bring out one every year so um, I've just accumulated them a few so I'm wanting to use those up um, and I had enough cut, cut parts to work with this um, week as well there is a few months that I don't have as many cut parts um, but I do actually have some left over from a from a January collection uh, that I used before um, so I can mix and match a little bit but yeah so um, this uh, paper pad is just the one from um gosh what is it called it's something studio violet studio um and it's a gardener's one but i use the non-plant related paper and just use like the the mustard yellows and the greens because that was sort of the theme for this um week and these cut parts the the actual um simple stories collection even though it's not majorly themed you can tell they're slightly themed because um the February one was all like love hearts and pinks and reds and the March is like greens for like St. Patrick's Day and stuff. So they're slightly themed. So yeah, um, so I'm just using some washi tape that's like an ombre pink as well, which I thought matched quite nicely. Um, and I did, didn't did have many photo, uh, sorry, many stickers at all from this cut apart, um, this collection. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. From this collection, um, because obviously I've used it quite a lot. So there's not many stickers at all. So I did have this... Um, sticker book on my desk from a previous project so I was like oh there should be something in there and yeah there was some green stickers that I thought would go on there quite nicely so the first photo is actually a picture of Joe's Guinness I don't drink Guinness I don't actually drink much at all if anything um but Joe is having a Guinness um he's half Irish um so I don't know if he 100% likes Guinness but I think he likes the idea of it so he had one on the Sunday um because obviously it is St Patrick's Day so um was it St. Patrick's Day on the Sunday? Yeah, it was. Um, so he obviously wanted to have one of those on St. Patrick's Day. And I did use a cut apart that says it's not all sunshine and rainbows because it was actually a really stressful uh, couple of days over that period. Um, just with family, just a load of random things happening. I mean, it's all pretty much sorted now. But um, yeah, just a few things that was outside of my control and it was just a bit stressful. But um, it's fine. As I said, as I said, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Things do happen. Um, so yeah, I was just sort of overthinking a lot of things that week. Um, but it was my dad's birthday on the 18th. So I just screenshotted the chat because I wasn't with him. Um, but I just found the chat where I said happy birthday to him. Um, and I, it just had on when he said happy birthday to me back in January. And I just really loved how what it said really, because he called me by my, my new surname, which will be happening in July. Um, so I just thought it was really cute. So I wanted to keep that, um, so yeah, I just took the screenshot from my phone and put it in there. It was his 70th birthday, so it's a big one. So that's why I put it in there. I'm going to use the journaling card um, that's got the number three on there, obviously to write a little bit about the week. And then the two photos are going to go next to that. Um, I actually had my eyebrows done for the very first time ever. Um, I got them tinted, uh, defined, waxed and, you know, all sorts because it's my Hindu. It was my Hindu. Um, that's next weekend so I just wanted to get an idea of what I wanted it's sort of like a an excuse to start practicing before the weddings and stuff like that so yeah I had them done it was really relaxing actually um I thought it was gonna be really really painful but it was actually fine and I really like how they came out so yeah I'm looking forward to getting those done again um for the weddings that I've got in May and June so yeah I just took a picture of the place that I went it was a new place um that I've never been before but they were really nice and um yeah I really enjoyed it so I took a picture of the the room with all the, like the beds and stuff um and then I took a picture of myself afterwards it's not as bright as I wanted to be but I had my eyebrows were like bright red <laughs> um because obviously the waxing and stuff like that so I had to I did actually was going out for dinner afterwards so I was like hoping that the cool air was going to cool it down because it was red um but she said that was very normal um I just completely forgot that that was going to happen so um yeah, I had to walk around town with very red eyebrows for a while. Um, but yeah, no, I loved how they came out and it didn't, it, it went down pretty quickly. Um, so that was fine. So yeah, that was a new experience that I've never had before. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use one of my labels around to obviously write a little bit about um, getting my eyebrows done. Um, and then yeah, Joe was actually meeting me in town because we were going for food. Um, Joe actually arranged um, to go out to this restaurant that we've never been to before for pizza his friends have been and stuff so he was like let's you know let's go out so it was nice um 
because it's normally me that initiates like the plans and stuff and I make the plans so it's always nice when someone else does it um so yeah we we went out for pizza which was nice um and it was really good pizza actually it was um I can't think what I had now oh uh, the pepperoni I had the pepperoni sort of like this this um honey chili uh which was really nice or chili honey it was just really really nice anyway we had a really good time so yeah we had um a really nice meal there and then we headed home and just sort of chilled out for the evening so yeah it was a really sort of nice day a uh, busy day um, but yeah that's a picture of me with my um my new eyebrows but you can't really see it in the photo unless you're looking really closely at the um the redness but it is there um but yeah so whilst we went to pizza uh we just discussed all sorts we talked about holidays um we are in the middle of submitting holiday requests for 2025 um, to see where we're going to go um, and that's super exciting but it also um, I get so ahead of myself and I start wanting to book things and I've got to concentrate on things that are happening now not in a year's time but um, yeah it's really exciting as I said booking things for 2025 and getting um, you know just yeah getting excited for them sort of things so we're just sort of wondering where we're going to go what we want to do as it's my 30th so a few decisions to make um, but we have very like so many exciting plans for the rest of the year um and um, I'm trying not to think too far ahead and just be excited for what's coming up. As I said, we've got a wedding, we've got Joe's sister's wedding in May and then Joe's cousin's wedding in June um, and then our wedding in July, um, you know, and other things in the, was well going on in the year. So, yeah, um, just just really exciting. So, yeah, so the photo that's going to go underneath will be the picture of the pizza. Um, I wish I kind of got a picture of us, really, because we do go out a lot, but... Um, It'd be nice to get pictures of ourselves just on date nights and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to use that um, card that says hello today and put it next to the picture of the pizza. It was really nice inside. It was all very Italian themed. It had like washing all like drawn across the ceilings and you could see them making the pizzas and stuff like that. So it was really nice inside. Um, and I've seen since being to that restaurant, it's called Pizza Pilgrims. Since being there, I've seen loads around. So it's obviously a big chain. Um that's um springing up all across the uk but yeah it was really really good um and then the cards i'm going to use in the um next pocket uh, is the month one which has got like the calendar and stuff which i think is quite nice and then i do actually take a picture of um Joe bought me flowers as well as obviously taking me out for dinner, which was very nice. He bought me some red roses, which is lovely, and I put them on the desk um and I was currently working on my Banff album so I had all my scrapbooking stuff all over the table um and I had the flowers with me as well which I thought was really nice so I just took a picture of me doing that with my flowers so yeah it was a really nice sort of um few days really um you won't see me stamp the the week and the week number and stuff because you can see I've actually got my nails done for the first time ever. Um, I get I got my nails done for my Hindu and they're white and I know what I'm like with ink, so I was like I don't even want to risk it. So I didn't stamp on the 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 dates, um, but I will do eventually. So even if the photos don't say that, I'm sort of waiting for the nails to come off before I start inking because I just really do not want to get ink all over them because they are white and. Um, they're actually stayed quite nice. Um, so I'm trying to keep them nice until <laughs> as long as I can. So yeah, if you don't see any of the weeks or anything like that, that's why. But I do stamp the dates with my date stamp because obviously that's not messy. But I didn't want to start getting black ink um, all over my nice white nails, especially before the Hindu. Um, so yeah, um, very exciting. I will be doing a whole album for my Hindu. I decided to do that rather than just a project life spread because I came home with 130 photos. Um, so I feel like it warrants its own album, which I'm excited to do, but I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing it. Um, I'm yet to decide whether I want to do it in between projects or just wait and do it um, when I get round to it and do it in order because I'm very pedantic like that I like to do things in order um, but we'll see we'll see what I feel like doing and um, at the moment I've already got my wedding prep album in between everything else so at the moment I don't feel like I've got the capacity to do anything but um, we'll see so I hope you've enjoyed this part and I'll be back soon bye <laughs>